Yeah, and this is a real patchwork solution. Instead of just one place for those calls to 911 being received, they're now going to four different locations, including one right back here. It kind of looks like a trailer city, a bunch of different mobile centers set up out here. Workers will be moving into that tomorrow to start taking calls. Now, it's almost ready to go online, but some worry that this plan will put workers in danger. When we showed up this morning, we found workers running cables and carrying supplies to these mobile command centers, the new homes for many of Allegheny County's 911 dispatchers. A big project to deal with a tiny problem bed bugs found in the emergency call center on Lexington Street, forcing workers here to leave their offices while the bugs are wiped out. Today, we found out how the county will handle emergencies. Some workers will stay in the Lexington Street building in rooms not infested with bed bugs, but many others will man these trains. Trailers in the building's parking lot. Other 911 calls will go to personnel setting up in Pittsburgh's former dispatch center in the Strip District, now used as a backup facility. But the union representing dispatchers claims this building is no better. They say it had a leak and there could be mold inside. County officials, though, say it was inspected in just the past few days and it is safe. The union's also worried that employees staying in the Lexington Street Center will be exposed to fumigation chemicals. No one from Allegheny County would speak to us on camera, but in a release, Said these trailers are state of the art, some better equipped than your average 911 call center. Plus, all four locations will work together as if everyone was in the same room, and officials claim people calling 911 won't notice anything different. Now, no officials from the union would speak on camera today either, but they say that several workers in the 911 call center have suffered bites from bed bugs. Some have even taken them home with them and infested their homes. Again, they expect to have this call center up and running at those four locations tomorrow and hope to have it back to normal within a couple of days. Reporting live in Point Breeze, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.